Hi guys and welcome to 123 MyT's video where we show you how to remove your forgotten passcode. Okay guys, so you've been using your Touch ID or your Face ID, you've restarted your phone and now you've completely forgotten your passcode. And even if you've typed in your passcode, what you think it was quite a few times, you'll get this message coming up, iPhone is disabled, try again in one minute. This method I'm about to show you will remove the passcode, but it will also remove any data that you have on your phone. So if you can, try the passcode a few more times and see if you can get access to your phone. If you've backed up your device, either with iCloud or if you've backed it up with iTunes, you will be able to restore your data back to the device after you wipe it via this method. So wiping the device will get rid of your passcode, but it will also get rid of any of your data. Okay, so the next thing you're going to need is you're going to need a computer with iTunes on it. So it can be any computer. And if you don't have one, you can borrow one from a friend or you can always take your iOS device into an Apple store and they'll be able to do it there for you. Okay, so just make sure your iTunes is up to date. And the next step you're going to need to do there is you're actually going to need to plug in your phone or your iOS device. Uh, to your computer. So make sure that's done first. And then you're gonna need to force a restart of your phone. So to do that on the iPhone X or the iPhone 8, we're gonna press the volume up button, let it go, press the volume down button, let it go, and then we're gonna hold down our power button. And that's gonna force the phone to reset itself. Okay, so if you're on an iPad with Face ID, what you will need to do is quickly press the volume up button and let it go quickly press the volume down button and let it go and then hold down your power button which is on the top of the iPad and hold that down until it uh, until it restarts. If you're on an iPhone 7 or iPhone 7 Plus you're going to press and hold the volume down button and press and hold the power button and keep that held down until it does a reset. If you're on an iPhone 6S or earlier or an iPad with a home button or iPod touch you're going to need to press and hold both the home and the top or side buttons at the same time. So if you've got the, the button at the top and your home button, you're gonna to need to press and hold them both down at the same time and keep them held down until you see the recovery mode screen come up. Because this is an iPhone 8, you can do this with the iPhone X as well. So we're gonna press up, press down, and then hold the side uh, power button. I'm gonna keep that held down until it goes into the recovery mode screen. There it goes now. Okay, and there's the recovery mode screen. And you'll see on our iTunes here, we want to press restore and not update. And then we want to press restore and update. And what it will do is it will actually download uh, the software and will give you a little tab up the top there, which you can click on. And you'll be able to see how long uh, it takes to download um, the, the, the software for your, for your iOS device. In this case, I've already downloaded it. So it's going to be a bit quicker. You can see it's just extracting the software now. If, if you're on a slow internet connection, it takes 15 minutes or longer to download the Apple software. Your phone will go back to uh, the forgotten passcode screen. If it does that, just repeat the steps which I showed you um, to get it back into this recovery screen once it's downloaded and then you should be able to uh, go on with the next step which I'll show you now. Okay, so it says just waiting for iPhone now. And if we have a look at our iPhone, you can see there that it's starting to um, install all the software and reload the device. Okay, so your iTunes just says verifying iPhone software in the background. Okay, you can see there's a message there saying our iPhone has been restored. And again, the little slider bar is coming across, so it's probably gonna load all the software that it's got on there now. Okay guys, so now you should end up with this screen. You could probably at this stage now, you can unplug uh, your cable uh, from iTunes or from the computer and if we just press here and then you would go ahead and you would set up your um, iPhone okay set up manually you can put it on your Wi-Fi so go ahead and do that once you're on the Wi-Fi just hit next all right your phone or your iOS device should go through and activate now just while this is going through if you backed up your device with iCloud you should be able to then go ahead and do a restore with your iCloud account, all the data back to your phone, or if you backed up your phone via iTunes, you'll be able to restore all your data via iTunes. All right, just go through all the setup process, and now it actually allows us to go through and create a passcode. So remember before, we wanted to remove the passcode, and now we're setting up our device like new, 
and we're set creating a new passcode. All right, set up the phone as new. Just say we don't have an Apple ID, so we can set that up later. Agree to the conditions, install manually, not now. Disable location services, set up later. Set up later, don't share, continue, get started. Customize later in settings, choose a view, next, get started. And there we go, guys, we're back into it. So we've actually been able to remove our passcode from the iPhone 8 device. Okay, guys, so that's pretty much it for me. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments field below. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.